I'm Audrey Warrenfeltz, and I am the CGI producer. I'll be answering questions from a hat. Sweet. All right, what would the name of your autobiography be? Places I Don't Belong, the Audrey <laughs> Warrenfeltz story. <laughs> What's the most illegal thing I have ever done? <laughs> My best Boston accent. I'm from the North Shah. <laughs> what do I do at TRG? I am the CGI producer, so I manage all the CGI projects. I work with my team to make sure they have all the assets they need from clients so that they can successfully make their projects on deadline. I also work with the clients to make sure that we get every question that we need answered so that we can make the best products we can and so that our estimates are as complete as possible so nothing is overlooked or surprised later because everybody's budget has a limit. All right, read this three times fast. How can a clam cram in a clean cream can? How can a clam cram in a clean cream cram? How can a clam cram in a clean cram cream cr can? <laughs> nope. That was good. That was good. Well done. Let's try. How many times do you think you could get kicked in the leg before you fell over? We're talking about the shin. A few. <laughs> I think I could probably get kicked in the shin a few times as long as it's not an army boot. Um, before I fell over. But if you went for the knees, I'm probably going down on the first try. What is CGI? CGI is computer generated imagery and it is when we use the computer to create 3D objects. Maybe you have a product that hasn't been fully developed yet. It has a design but hasn't been produced. So then we would create that for you in CGI so that you can have marketing materials to go ahead and put out while your product is still being created so that when it hits the, the, the storefront, you have signage and you have labels and you have all the things that you need. Maybe you have a product that comes in 45 colors and you don't want to shoot that 45 times. You can have us create one model and just recolor it and that saves a lot of money and time. It's a lot faster to change a finish than it is to set up a photo shoot where you're shooting the same product again and again and again. What is something you look stupid doing? What is something I don't look stupid doing? That's the question. Have you ever seen me dance? Um, it's, it's not great. I still do it, but it's not great. What does a client need to know before starting a CGI project? Uh, a client needs to know that it takes a lot of time so it's not uh, as simple as um, jumping in and drawing your image and bing, bang, boom, there it is. It's not like a camera. It's not as fast and immediate gratification. So we have to go in and we have to actually build everything. When we make an animation, I think most people underestimate how long that takes. They think that they could get that in a couple weeks and it takes often like six to nine weeks for a regular animation. Um, some things like making water can take just the water can take six weeks and, and I know that I personally can't look at a single movie anymore without thinking about how many hours those things took to create. Uh, in an arm wrestling match who would win between Dick Van Dyke or Mel Brooks? Dick Van Dyke, he's very, you know, wiggly. <laughs> <laughs>